Hi, everyone, and welcome to this month's edition of Tales from the CTO. My name is Jamie McMahon. I'm the CTO here at ProServe IT. And this month, we're going to talk a little bit around how much should I spend on technology? Um, we get this question a lot, I think, from, from many people, um, both business owners, uh, technologists inside of the business, uh, different business leaders. And the question is really around, you know, how much is there a, a sweet spot or, or something relative to my business where I should be um, grading myself over how much I should be spending and, and what's the right number? And there's a couple of different ways to answer this question. And I think, you know, I'll, I'll first I'll start with data and then I'll give you some perspective um, over, over what I think a, a better way perhaps to answer and phrase this question. So generally speaking, there are some lots of data around what other businesses do, um, the businesses spend will obviously vary over the size of your organization. So if you take a normal, let's say, ratio of, of IT spend or technology spend relative to your overall top line revenue number, uh, you know, obviously as that revenue number increases, the percentage of spend against technology tends to decrease. So large enterprises, think of Fortune 500, you know, businesses that are traded on, on the stock exchanges, et cetera, they're in the three to 4% range. When you get into mid-sized businesses, whether they're privately owned or, you know, as well trade on some form of, uh, of a stock exchange, you know, the, the, the trend line goes uh, up a little bit, 4%-ish. And then generally speaking, when you get into small businesses, the percentages or ratios of technology spend do tend to increase, um, again, generally speaking, around 7%. Now, again, I know this is a very macro way to look at it, and, you know, it's very difficult to put all of our businesses into a box like this. So if we think of it differently across, you know, type of spend, um, it varies widely. And so it can be as much as 25%. Now, again, that might be misleading if your actual business product is around building software and that is what you sell and that's how you monetize and, you know, actually make money. Then it feels natural that businesses like software development, you know, hosting and cloud services, financial services, even especially as the explosion of fintech is occurring, you know, all of those things will help drive up the weighted average. And then when you get into, let's say, more traditional industries like healthcare, telecommunications, et cetera, you'll see that the percent spend does tend to decrease. Now, like I said, you know, maybe perhaps looking at this slightly differently, I think generally speaking, what we're seeing as a trend line is that spend is going up. And I don't think it's going up you know, incorrectly, so to speak, I think for the longest time, people have seen technology as not necessarily a differentiator or not necessarily a strategic enabler for, for the business, but have typically seen it as, a, as an operating expense. Um, and, and quite often we see where technology reports up, to, in, um, up into the CFO, up into finance, and, and isn't really, doesn't necessarily have a seat at the strategic um, thinking level of, of an organization. And so when we think and say, well, what are the opportunities for us to, to change that? And why, why do we think this trend that's going up? Because I think, you know, technology in general is just having such a, a large influence on every facet of our, of our lives. It's becoming more and more clear over where and how we should be thinking about technology relative to a business experience, um, whether that's an experience with your customers, an experience with your employees, um, or some other component there's better understood value now. So the question I think should shift to, you know, how much should I spend? Because I think that's arbitrary. We don't want to set arbitrary goals to say, hey, I'm in manufacturing. I should be spending X percentage because that's what other people do. I think a better question is, you know, what am I trying to achieve? How can I, you know, do things that actually add significant value to my business? Are there ways for me to help enable scale? I, you know, I'm going through a growth phase. Maybe I need to invest in tools that create, um, you know, allow for, you know, different geographies or different financial tracks act transactions or complexities in my vendor relationships. And the technologies to support that is going to help support that scale. Or maybe I need to do things that improve efficiency, whether it's, um, you know, making my adding automation, um, obviously improving our uh, gross margins, or perhaps it might be around differentiation and, and things that can really allow us to, to talk and speak into premium SKUs, for example, or to um, make it more difficult for our customers to, to look anywhere else because they're so happy with the products that we're doing because we're adding so much specific value to what they need. Um, or we're investing in reducing risk because I think at the end of the day as well, there does need to be that dichotomy or that relationship between value and risk that we as business individuals need to think about relative to investments to the business. 
So, you know, once the outcomes are clear and that the investments that we're going to make to say, yes, we're, we want to invest, and it's not necessarily an arbitrary percentage or an arbitrary amount that we should be spending, we should be focused on clear objectives that we're trying to accomplish relative to the business and generally understand that we're probably underspending on technology and the way that we're actually going to see tangible value in those investments is if that we're intentional with those investments and that it's tied to some kind of a business outcome or business strategy, the question then becomes and shifts between, you know, what should I invest in? Why should I invest in technology into, for example, how do I execute? Um, or more, more, more uh, you know, reasonable perhaps is who should execute? Is my internal team going to do that? Do I need to leverage some external consultants or some external parties to help assist us with these uh, rollouts? When to execute? I think it's it's very easy to say, yeah, like, you know, these uh, initiatives are going to pay off a uh, specific ROI, you know, therefore we should kick them off right away. But I think there's some normal, you know, uh, cash flow, for example, uh, realities that we all face that might say, you know what, we're going to defer this expense, even though we know this is the right thing to do. And there's a strategic initiative tied to this. So we're very clear on the outcome and the ROI and how we're going to measure the success of this. We're going to, you know, intentionally make this investment you know, January of next year or Q1 or Q2 based off the cash flow or other investments that are also going on or other competing priorities that are also um, significant, important, and urgent. So hopefully that kind of gives you a, a, let's say, a more macro way to look at things and say, yeah, it's not necessarily the right number to spend. It's making sure that when we are spending, we're intentional around it and that generally speaking, we're probably underspending and that there are ways to help us create differentiation, reduce risk, and just better add value to our customers, which ultimately I think is gonna increase outcomes for everyone. Appreciate um, spending time. And if you wanna have a specific question or a specific conversation relative to anything we talked about today, we'd love to hear from you. You can reach out at CTO at ProServe IT. And thank you for your time.